Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is malware lingering tricks. Today's story comes from some great research from a security organization called SecureWorks, who found a new variant of malware that used Microsoft's own components to help the malware stay persistent on a computer. Their story starts when a antivirus product discovers some malware on a PC and actually tried to clean up that malware. However, after removing the malware, they noticed networked activity from this previously infected host that suggested it was still in infected by something bad. Long story short, SecureWorks found that the malware was leveraging something called Microsoft Bits, which stands for the Background Intelligent Transfer Service. This is a component that ships with modern versions of Windows and is used to quietly download things in the background when your network's not busy. Microsoft and Windows primarily uses it for Windows updates, when you get automatic updates or when you're maybe updating your signature files from Microsoft Defense. When this happens, Bits is what is silently downloading those updates in the background and helping to apply them. Now, malware has actually exploited Bits for a long time. Other programs can also use Bits to download things. And since a lot of security products whitelist this uh, downloading component, since Windows uses it, it's one way that malware authors uh, kind of evade certain defenses and download malware onto your computer. But what SecureWorks found was a new way to leverage Bits to keep malware on a computer. Basically, this malware leveraged bits to constantly reinstall itself on a computer. Even when you remove the malware, it had already installed some bits tasks, which would try to download files in the background from a website, and then used a little notification trick to start a batch script that would then install this malware all over again. Anyway, SecureWorks has a very good detailed write-up on how this technically works. It's very interesting research. I really I really recommend you check it out if you're interested. But it really just goes to show how sophisticated criminals are getting at making sure their malware is persistent and kind of evades some of our uh, prevention capabilities. Even though AV is catching this, the malware has found a way to reintroduce itself over and over. So what can you do about this? Well, first of all, try to avoid that initial infection. If you never got infected by the initial malware, uh, it couldn't actually poison bits with these evil tasks. That said, you need ways to find out when this happens, and SecureWorks actually recommends a command line that you can use to see what Bits is up to, to make sure there's not any sort of weird tasks in your computer's Bits queue. Next up, leverage network visibility. The customer in this case had thought they had cleaned up malware, but it was actually network visibility that allowed them to see that there's still something bad happening on this particular host. WatchGuard has tools like Dimension that give you a lot of insight in strange things that might be happening on your network, so be sure to use those visibility tools. Finally, for the future, you might consider expanding that uh, visibility all the way down to the endpoint. There's a lot of endpoint discovery and response solutions that can help you find unusual activity on your actual host computers. While you definitely want preventative technology to keep malware and viruses off those computers, there's never a silver bullet. So you need to start thinking about finding anomalous vets on those endpoints. And by the way, if you've paid attention to WatchGuard News, you might have seen the recent PR where we've acquired a technology called Hawkeye G that will help us bring more solutions to help with this sort of situation in the future. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.